Oh yeah. Good fish. Oh yeah. You go. Good morning and welcome to another episode with Real Hustle. We just rolled up into South Park, Colorado and we're here at Antero Reservoir for our first time this ice season. It's like 10 degrees. It said negative 10 as I drove in, so it's gonna be a cold day. But nonetheless, we're here. We're getting ready to get our stuff out of the truck and get on the ice, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't and hopefully we can put some big, big trout in front of you guys. All right, let's get it. Alright guys, so we got the clam popped up. We've got two jaw jackers in the water and we're just finishing our setup. We've got a beautiful sunrise gonna take place and hopefully we can put you on some fish. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. We've got Tyler and his buddy Bryce and we've also got a good friend Ted with his son Corey meeting us. So There is some open water not far from us. We do have three, almost four inches of ice. It's a little sketchy conditions, but we're out here. I've got people with me, so we're gonna make it happen. I've got two jaw jackers set. Let's see if we can get them bending over soon. You go. First fish on. Felt like a pretty decent one. He took a good run. Ooh, it's a nice fish. I just saw him. Not happy about being hooked. It looked like a pretty good sized rainbow. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Just kind of playing them. Tyler, come on my right side right here. I got my trusty ranch hand Tyler here to help me with the, the landing of this fish. Definitely, oh, yeah. Definitely looked like a solid one, guys. Beautiful morning to be out here in South Park, Colorado. Yeah, oh yeah. Baby. It's a beast. Yeah. Tyler, on. On. Tyler just popped off, so he's running for his rod, so it looks like I got this on my own. It's alright though, we'll get him. Good fish, guys. <clears throat> Almost ready to come through this hole. I'm gonna have to steal a jig head from you though, if that's okay. 
Dang, it's a nice fish. I see him, man. <clears throat> All right, guys, I think he's just about ready. He's made quite a few runs. I'm sure he's getting kind of tired. Sometimes we stick our rod tip in the water to avoid that bottom edge of the cut of the ice. It can be kind of sharp, and when they're going nuts right by the hole, you can lose a good fish like that. And he's up. Nice fish. All right, guys, first fish of the day. It's about a 20-inch cut bow. Definitely a girthy, healthy fish. This one's actually ate it very deep, and uh, I've been talking about keeping one, so this fish is actually gonna come home for, with me. You guys know I release just about everything, so. All right, guys, so a decent start. We did get that 23 inch cut bow. I ended up measuring it and I will do a catch and cook in this episode. So if you're interested to see that, it'll be at the end. Nonetheless, Tyler had two jaw jackers snap. One of them was clean cut. He seems to think it was a muskie. And the other one was on for about 10 seconds and then it was just gone. It happens, but we're out here. We're posted up. We've got some jaw jackers set and hopefully we can bring you guys a couple more nice fish. All right guys, Tyler and Bryce just got smacked. Looks like Bryce is fighting his first fish of the day. How's he feel, Bryce? Not too bad. She feels pretty good. I'm gonna bring another rod in closer. Mr. Mark's jig, ice fire, guys. These things are working. This is a yellow colored chenille with a 80th ounce jig head, bright pink. If you guys are looking to catch fish like this, you gotta hit up Mr. Mark for those Come jigs. On, oh yeah, he's a thick fish. The average Antero pork chop right there, ladies and gents. Yeah. 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 That's a pretty yeah. fish. Yeah. There we go. All right guys, another nice rainbow. This one's obviously gonna be kept. He choked that thing and his whole gill was ripped out. So. We're gonna take him home and he's gonna get added to the catch and cook. This is a big fish. He's got me in the weed cell. So. Alright, like right here? Yeah. Out a little more, back up like four feet. You got me in the weeds, ladies and gents. Yeah, it goes through quick. How's he feeling, Tyler? Good fish. We got rods popping all left of us right now. Gonna get them back quick. Nice fire jigs, ladies and gents. All right, guys, Ted and Corey just showed up, so we're gonna zip some holes for those guys next. So Ted and Corey just showed up, like I said. We just set them up with a couple jaw jacker trout rods, and they've also got these chubs for bait. So I'm walking back to the truck right now to grab this tip-up rod holder that I just got that I've never used before, and we're gonna set that down for like a muskie, see if anything happens there. Fish on! Come get it, Ted! Alright guys, we just got popped. Oh, he's already at the hole. It's a brown. <laughs> it's a brown. Nice. Sorry, Ted. It's okay. You he came it. right through. <laughs> All right, guys, first brown of the day. He came right through the hole. I was trying to give him to Ted. We're going to go ahead and release this fish. So right here, we got an average antero pork chop. He's pretty frozen because we're keeping him. That's why. And then <laughs> if you put it in perspective of that fish, this fish right here 
This is a quality antero fish. This fish is probably about three pounds, if I had to guess, four, pushing at most. And this is what we're looking for. <laughs> and it's crazy to think you got fish. All right, guys, Ted comes through with the charcuterie. Spread some honey on some cornbread straight from the barbecue. He's got some cheese, some salami. There we go. Ted, whoever. Oh, no. He said, that was weird, huh? Yeah, it does weird stuff. You like all saw that. that. No, most ready. Oh, oh it's yeah. Colorful. Oh, super dark, baby. Awesome fish. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes, sir. That was, a, that was a nice visual. There you go. Nice fish, Dad. Nice. All right. On the slow mo. Thank you. Yes, sir. Tyler's claiming we might need a bigger boat. <laughs> We're sinking. Boys, we are going down, ladies and gents. <laughs> How's he feel, Corey? Good. Oh, oh no. he's off. He's off. No. <laughs> he's off. No. He's there. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he's <laughs> there. <laughs> what the hell? All right, guys. Corey's on the first fish of the day for himself, and it looks to be a good one. Does anybody see it yet? No. No, not far. no we have not seen it. Neil. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's, a God. That's, a, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Come on, be a big old m It's a brown. It oh, is? Oh, oh, gorgeous. Big old brown, baby. Gorgeous brown. Oh, no. Big old cup no. Oh! 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 You go. Thank you, thank you, sir. That was my uh, lawyer. You go. I didn't say much on that last video because I was actually on the phone with one of my lawyers and I just ended up catching a pretty nice bow, right around 19 inches as you saw. Sorry if I didn't capture the best footage. I don't even think this camera was running, but let's get another one. See you Tuesday, big Yeah, man. buddy. Later, dog. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I had a good time. They all took off. They're gonna go hit 11 mile for a little more action. I've just got a little bit of time left before I should really go home. So I'm gonna spend it here and hopefully grind for one more fish for you guys and see what happens. All right guys, this might be my last fish. Those guys just took off and this rod just got smoked. Can't tell how big it is yet. Looks like pretty average. It's like an average rainbow if I were to guess. There he is, guys. Pretty nice rainbow. We're going to go ahead and release this fish. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pack up all my gear and get ready to get off the ice. And uh, we had a spectacular day. There were some slow moments, but some very quality, beautiful fish caught. Sorry if the wind has been a little bit staticky throughout the audio on this episode. 
Uh, I do have microphone covers, wind socks, however you want to call them, but sometimes it's just too windy to really be able to cover it all up. Okay guys, we're gonna conclude this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed it. What a beautiful cut bow that Corey caught. I ended up getting a pretty large female this morning. Ted got a nice fish. Bryce and Tyler caught as well. We had a lot of fun. We hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in a couple days for another episode with Real Hustle.